and welcome to X-Tech Tacticals, Technically Tactical Guys. I'm your host, Dennis Stiller. I'd like to introduce Dr. Wopoliski. Thank you for having me, Engineer. Very nice. For part of the X-Tech R&D development team here, we would like to go over the history of waffles with you. We'd like to start today by giving you a little history of the waffle. The waffle first appeared in the 9th or 10th centuries in probably Middle Earth. From there, the Dutch and the Belgians improved it constantly until the 16th, 17th century. That brings us up to the modern waffle time. We'd like to take a little time right now and talk about the design of the waffle. The waffle's biggest competitor would have been the pancake. We do find some functional flaws with the design of the pancake. Doctor? I concur. The rigidity structure of a pancake is going to be simulated in this napkin. As you see, that doesn't work if you want to hold butters, jams, various honeys, and perhaps Nutellas. So the waffle has a strategic engineering advantage over a floppy pancake. Would you agree, Engineer? I would agree, Doctor. And thank you. As you can see from the diagram here on the board, we have traditional waffle shapes with the dips and valleys. It works much like an I-beam if you're constructing a building or car frames. This all adds strength and places for your syrup. I concur. <laughs> One of the great things about working in x R&D room making waffles is that I get to freely experiment with waffles and different ingredients. We're all pretty familiar with maybe chocolate chips, bits of cereal, marshmallows, what have you in the waffles. I like to take things a little bit further. It's always been an issue with me getting my kids to get enough vitamin C in their diet. I think that the waffle is a great vessel to bring vitamin C into a child's diet. For this, I've selected a blood orange today. Simply because the blood orange adds a little bit of fun color for it also. What child doesn't love to have a fun and colorful breakfast? Well, I'm a huge advocate of adding dye to foods. That makes sense. As you can see, this makes for a fun waffle. Let's make a waffle. I would say the worst thing about making waffles is actually waiting for the waffles. Doctor, how can you tell when the waffle is ready? Usually I like to hear for a specific sound from the waffle maker that shows when it's done. Or I just open it and look. Yes, we're getting there now. We've talked about the benefits of adding vitamin C with blood oranges into the waffle mix. Now I'd like to talk a little bit to the older crowd. The eggplant. And it's one of the easiest things to add to waffle batter. And you probably know by now, but no waffle batter mix is complete without dye additives.
Look at that waffle goodness. Plum, plum, waffle, waffle, waffle. Plum colored. On behalf of myself and Dr. Waffleski, I'd like to thank you. What are you doing? We're filming in here. What are you guys doing? We're working on that video you asked us to make. Uh, I asked you guys to say the history of the waffle pattern. Yeah, no waffles. We got it. We got the waffles. We got the Did you even get the bake light and the yeah. plum? We got the what? bake lights. Absolutely. Here's what? a fresh plum. Guys, this is. It was kind of. Well, we used eggplant instead of plums because they're not in season. And it's kind of important that we got this study done of waffles on magazines. Um, I thought you said waffles. I heard that too. It's gonna be good. We're gonna. The, the, you can do a lot of stuff in editing. It's gonna. What do you think? Not bad. You can I mean, really taste the additives, can't you? I mean, I'm always I'm down, down for food to die. die. On behalf of everybody at X Tech in the R&D lab here, we'd like to thank you for your time today and listening to us talk about the history of waffles and how to make them. And we even had a magazine out and everything. Oh, he left that here. Just didn't clean it up. Oh, yeah.